Hello and welcome to Miss Hannah Loves Grammar. In this video we'll be answering the question what are the uses of an exclamation mark? An exclamation mark looks like this and it looks quite dramatic but there's more to it than just looking dramatic. The exclamation mark is the punctuation mark that's used to end sentences that show emotion that can range from anything that's sudden or strong or passionate or painful. It can range from all the emotions. But the exclamation mark has three major functions. Its first job is that of exclamation. That's when you share quite emotional information and following an emotional statement, you would often use an exclamation mark. For example, don't do it, don't do it, she shouted passionately. The adverb passionately there indicates that this person is clearly quite upset, quite keen for this person not to do whatever it is. The second major use of the exclamation mark is to indicate how loudly someone is speaking. We should never write capital letters to illustrate that. That looks babyish and immature. Instead, we signal the loud nature of someone's speech by writing an exclamation mark after the statement. For example, the wrapped box, wrapped box, the audience yelled. In this instance, we understand that the audience is really yelling by the fact that we see more than one exclamation mark following each other. Though in both of the first two examples I've shared with you, they're rare examples. We would often just use one exclamation mark. When referring to emotion, it's important that we don't overuse this particular form of punctuation. If anything, if we overuse the exclamation mark, it makes it more and more difficult for someone to understand the exact moment where the emotion is strong in what you're saying, because it loses its impact with the more that you repeat what you're saying. Now, the final use of the exclamation mark that's worthy of your note is that the exclamation mark can be used to show you something that the writer finds amusing, odd or weird. For example, she was the greediest woman ever. She would eat your lunch and make you watch and starve. In this instance, the exclamation mark shows how greedy this woman that's being described is. It also shows the frustration of the writer and how in a weird way they find it disgracefully amusing that this person could dare to behave like this. Regardless of whether it's a happy moment or a sad moment, if the writer finds it intriguing enough, well then they can use just one exclamation mark. So those were the functions of the exclamation mark, but now what I want you to do is decide if the examples that I've listed here need an exclamation mark and then explain why. Hit pause if you need thinking time. So, what did you find? I need to go home, he shouted to them. Well, yes, for two reasons. Sounds quite emphatic, quite emotional. I need to go home. The verb need sounds quite desperate, but it's also, we're told they're shouting. So this is because their speech was said loudly that we need the exclamation mark. If somebody said, who is that? We absolutely do not need an exclamation mark. We need a question mark. It's a question, not even a statement. The war ended in 1945. Well, we have no additional information here. It's not something that someone has said. So this is actually a declarative sentence. It does not need an exclamation mark. Finally, it is utterly disgusting that the tables all had chewing gum underneath them. Well, this writer finds this alarming and it's created an emotional reaction in them, and rightly so, that sounds a bit disgusting. So yes, on this instance, that deserves an exclamation mark. Now it's your turn. For each of the five sentences that I have here for you, what I'd like you to do is identify if the exclamation mark has been used appropriately. Be ready to justify how you know, and hit pause if you need thinking time. So, how did you get on? Of course I'd like to marry you. Well, that exclamation is very clear to us. It's a definite yes. That 
moment sounds very dramatic and very passionate. Therefore, it deserves its exclamation mark. Wow, it's a small world after all. So that word, that interjection, wow, it's an exclamation also. Perhaps this person has bumped into another person and the world seems small after all. That makes it an exclamation. So yes, the exclamation mark after the word wow does make sense. I don't want my pens to get used. Stop. So that's a direct speech moment and it's emotive. When they say stop, that's a commanding word, but it's led through with quite emotional language. So in this instance, I believe that exclamation mark is valid. I go shopping weekly. Hmm. Unfortunately, they're just sharing information here. I don't think we would need to put an exclamation mark because that's a declarative sentence. Instead, it should just have a full stop. So no. And where it says, I like chicken, no matter how enthusiastically you say it, it's still just a statement sharing some simple information. Like is not passionate enough to demand an exclamation mark. So unfortunately, that should also just be a full stop. So no. Ultimately, the power of the exclamation mark is maximised the less frequently that you use it. So your writing should not be littered with exclamation marks. In fact, it should just feature occasionally to show moments of high drama or high emotion in your writing or moments when characters are speaking loudly or simply just to signal something that amuses or intrigues you as a writer. Remember, exclamation only works when used with care. Why not subscribe to Miss Hannah Loves Grammar for all things English, literary and grammatical?